Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. Cedric here on this beautiful Sunday with another brand new brew review. Uh, yeah, what can I say? We are talking about a beer today from uh, one of the large Belgian Jeuze stakers and Jeuze brewers, Lambic brewers even. Uh, but we're not going to talk about Lambic or Geuze. Hmm. We are going to talk about Beersel Blond. Now, when I say Lambic Brewer and Beersel, probably uh, everyone will think of Out Beersel. Um, so did I when I first encountered this beer. But make no mistakes, don't be fooled. Uh, this one is by Drie Fontanen, the Three Fountains. Uh, and I even heard that this is brewed by the Proof Brouwerij in Locristi. Uh, lo and behold, even the label says so. Brewed and bottled for brewery Drie Fontanen in Beersel by the Proof Brouwerij in Locristi in Belgium. Now, the Proof Brouwerij is a very, very large brewery um, that experiments a lot. It's a brewery where Dirk Nouts uh, is commander in chief, let's say, um, who is a awesome 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 bioengineer uh we specialized in yeast uh, we also we already did some beers by him uh, for example boer bloem uh which i didn't like so much uh but i believe they also brew uh pico nova and pico bello by russell's beer project so i'll, I'll put some links up here uh but yeah this is a very very simple beer why this is a top fermented beer um that they wanted to brew with the same ingredients as uh, a classic lambic <coughs> meaning uh, malted barley well actually they even state here on the label uh, yeah malted barley wheat hops and water refermented on the bottle and that results in a top fermented beer by seven percent abv I really don't have much more to tell you about this. I know that there were four kinds. I don't know that there still are, uh, but they used to have Beersel Blond, Beersel Bio, Beersel Lager, and some other Beersel. Uh, but actually, this is the only one that I frequently find in stores, so quite odd. Uh, love the label here. This is a very simple label. Uh, it just says blonde beer top fermented uh, with Beersel the name, which is of course a place name, um, even though it's from Drie Fontanen, but they also have this fooder, this uh, pipe, this wooden barrel as a logo. I really love this. It's actually old fashioned and maybe even a bit childish, uh, but it still has its charm very odd uh, when describing this I, I wouldn't expect to like this uh, but yeah I kind of do maybe I need a glass for this as well so a 7% blonde by Drie Fontaine now I don't know about this beer but I do know that Drie Fontaine is a awesome brewery and so is the Proof Brouwerij. So I have very high expectations for this one, or at least high hopes. Right off the bat, I can tell you, I love this color. I think this is the most golden blonde clear beer I've ever seen. Now I'm pouring quite carefully because I see that there is a lot of sediment on the bottom of the bottle there so i already had some in i see a nice plume of yeast here uh but no i'm not gonna pour everything in because i don't want to drink my beer with my teeth hers. so but nonetheless beautiful a very classic golden blonde like uh, a merzenbeer or a pilsner or a, a lager um, very very lovely also slightly off white foam as it should be a tiny speck of dust here very nice nice level of carbonation and the fun thing is with uh, sediment in, in the bottle uh, if you pour a tiny bit in uh, you see a bit of flaking uh, but the flakes of yeast 
try to trickle down and the carbon dioxide comes up and that, that becomes a whole uh, Alice in Wonderland uh, like taffrel, a very nice play there, uh, quite mesmerizing as well. Hmm. Unexpected scent. It smells rather herbal. Uh, a bit of carbon dioxide and, and slightly hoppy. Uh, I, I didn't expect much hops in this beer either, but. But I do get some herbal notes. Huh. <coughs> well, color me intrigued. Well, only one thing left to do then. Cheers. Oddly enough, it's in the flavor as well. And I would say a hint of clove maybe. Now they don't say they added it. And as far as I know, they don't add anything except for these basic ingredients, the barley, the wheat, water, yeast, and a bit of hops. So no herbs added. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. So a 7% blonde. Um, it is quite bitter. Slightly malty, but mainly uh, hoppy, bitter, a bit herbal. Um, I like that. Also very, very dry. I feel the tingle on my teeth. Uh, that's how dry it is. So I'm guessing not much leftover sugar. Now I did have it age a tiny bit uh, and it is re-fermented in the bottle so that might have gone in overdrive. But nonetheless, uh, very very nice. tiny hint of sweetness in the back of the throat so there is a, a tiny hint of, of starch or sugar left um, but yeah this is a very dry bitter sweetish beer um, yeah I, I really like this uh, even on winter days uh, I think this has a, quite a kick to it uh, it's, it's for quite heavily carbonated as well uh, How did I not know this? It also has a very rich mouthfeel and in the aftertaste it is relatively thin, uh, which is a, a very pleasant combination. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, the after flavor is uh, very, very present. Uh, I do get that, that tingling on the weak tissue in the back of the throat um, or in the back of the mouth. But flavor wise, I do get a tiny hint of sweetness in, the, in that after flavor as well. So this is very nicely done. Now, I don't expect anything less from Diddy Knauts. Uh, as well as Drie Fontaine, but nonetheless, uh, this turned out even better than I expected. I, I expected this to be slightly sweeter. I think this would go very well with a bit of blue cheese, for example. I uh, have to try that out sometime. Now, how should I score this beer? Hmm. I would say a three and a half uh, for the simple reason that I, 
I don't know what, but there's something slightly off and it's probably just me uh, and not necessarily the beer, but something throws me off a bit and yeah. But nonetheless, definitely three and a half, a very, very decent, very well brewed, well executed. Uh, hmm. Beautiful beer. Now, as I said, guys, if you want to try this out, uh, get it at your local drink center or uh, go to Drie Fontaine. Please don't ask for it in Oud Peersel. They, <laughs> they have a lot of decent beers, a lot of beautiful beers, uh, but they won't have this one. Um, I've already had one person telling me that this was by Brody Bolm. Unfortunately, he was referring to Duvel's Beer, uh, which has a bottle that slightly looks like this. Um, I think we've already reviewed that one as well. If I have, I'll put a link up here. Um, but yeah, get your get your hands on one of these. Uh, try it out and let me know what you think of it. I really like it. Uh, so three and a half is definitely the way to go. Uh, but that all being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys soon uh, in real life even. If you guys like this video, let me know down in the comments or hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more, uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon and you'll get notified whenever I upload something, which should be hopefully every Saturday and Sunday at 8. Uh, so let's be weekend buddies. And yeah, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, let me know and we'll see what we can do. Until then, cheers you guys.